Hello, dear friends. Let's talk about problems of Alpha Romeo 156. Everything has sounded great so far, but in this part of the test Alpha always fails. Suspension is one of the main problems of the Alpha Romeo 156, followed by electronics that fail as it arrives, and the engines aren't exactly the most reliable in the world. This justifies the high speed of the price drop from the moment when the proud owner takes a new one from the salon. Still, that look of hers, she was forgiven. On the Alpha 156, manufactured until February 1998, there may be a failure of the immobilizer, the failure preventing the car from starting. Engine washing is not recommended because of electronics. Especially for gasoline engines, it is not recommended to wash the engine. The biggest problem is certainly the valve opening variants used in four-cylinder gasoline engines. Problems with the CVT system make noise first. The engine sounds like diesel at startup, and only then does it begin to fulfill its role. In the end, however, the variator no longer controls the camshaft. The process of changing the variator is expensive. The manufacturer has improved the variators, the variator has been improved. 4-cylinder gasoline engine Too early wear or burst of the tooth belt driving 120 km, mostly with 000 engines. Require check every 1.6 km. 2.0 GTS engine. Possible malfunction of the engine caused by problems with the lambda sensor or its cables. 2.5 V6 engine. On the Alfa Romeo 156, manufactured until June 1999, several problems with the accelerator pedal potentiometer interfere with the engine. With gasoline TS engines, only the original spark plugs with platinum electrodes, which have adequate heat storage and durability, are not cheap. 1.8 and 2.0 petrol engines. Alfa Romeo 156 produced until January 2001, rough back work, possible jerk in acceleration. The cars were called to service in September 1998. The throttle engine replaced with the ECU engine reprogrammed. 3.9 V6 engine, GTA. On GTAs manufactured between February and July 2002, there is a risk of fuel leaks on the connection between the pipe and the spray rail and the poor connection is not tightened properly. Diesel engines In the first Alpha 156, possible problems with the high-pressure pump and the nozzles. Symptoms Loss of power and leakage of diesel on the high-pressure line. But on all these points, many improvements have been made to the plant since September 1998 including pump and nozzle treatment, to avoid conciliation. The reliability of the overall injection of these engines, pumps, common rail nozzles, has become constant since January 2000. Small sporadic incidents with the pump on models made until July 2001. 2.4 JTD 136 HP engine whistling and risk of premature wear of the tooth belt caused by lack of tension. 2.4 JTD 136 and 140 HP engine. The Alfa Romeo 156 made in July 2001 leaks diesel on a pressure sensor on a high pressure line. The Alfa Romeo 156 made until December 2001 have the risk of breakage in the turbine. On an Alfa Romeo 156 with a 1.9 JTD engine built before December 2001, a possible problem with the 80 km floating flywheel. 
mechanical vibration and noise start at a call start of 40 miles, which grows very rapidly thereafter, caused by damage to the crankshaft pulley rubber insert. NA 1.9 JTD diesel engines experience a decline in power and increased smoke, usually due to the jamming of the EGR valve. The problem is usually solved by thoroughly cleaning the EGR valve. On the Alfa Romeo 156, produced between December 2005 and June 2006, there is a risk of diesel leakage due to the gap between the pipes and the full filter bracket. Called for service in April 2008. The problem is with the filter holder. On four cylinder engines made by April 2002, a weak gear belt is possible, causing accelerated belt wear, which can cause the belt to break. Vehicles manufactured before mid-2002 often suffer from the defect of misrepresenting the amount of fuel in the tank. Robotic Celespeed Gearbox On models manufactured until March 2001, oil leakage may occur after driving. On models manufactured up to 2003, and especially those manufactured up to 2001, problems with electronic gear shift change management. Alfa Romeo 156 produced until 2000, sometimes very early wear of the front tires, caused by inappropriate adjustments to the factory front track, in some cases even on 2001 models. On models produced until April 2001, possible fluid leaks from power steering. On models manufactured until December 2003, steering wheel sounds are heard frequent damage to the air conditioner condenser, pebbles or salt from the road. On the Alfa Romeo 156 manufactured until 1999, the problem with the door was to adjust the door hinges or weak door hinges. The hinges needed replacement. The Alfa Romeo 156 can hear noise from under the instrument panel and door panels. For Alfa Romeo 156, manufactured before 2003. There may be a problem with the air recirculation damper in the ventilation unit. Often failures of the auto function of air conditioners in vehicles manufactured before redesign. On the Alfa Romeo 156 produced until September 1998, front door air noise. On the models produced until September 2001, the ignition of an airbag was unexpectedly started, caused by a connector under the driver's seat that shuts off when the driver moves their seat lengthwise. Fuel gauge On the Alfa Romeo 156 produced by April 2002, misrepresentation of fuel level in the tank. The trunk on the models produced by January 1998, the boot demanded that it be slammed with force. The lock problem was solved during 1998. On the models manufactured between February 2000 and October 2003, the front hood can be opened while driving. Cars called for service in October 2004.